Today is a big day. A big, big day. I have two clubs remaining, Fleetwood and Leeds. And today we are ticking off the penultimate ground from the 92. We are travelling back up to the northwest to finally watch the CODs. But this should have been done months ago. In December, I was on a club coach going to Fleetwood until we received this news whilst passing Wigan. It's off. It's off. We're in Wigan. And it's cooled off. I was fuming with Fleetwood at the time, but a second chance is due, and today is the day. Bristol Rovers at home on Easter Monday. This is such a trick for me. But the main thing in my mind is, I hope we get a bang of fish and chips. Two hour drive done. Now it's a four hour train up to Blackpool. This is some mission. And around me, it's a bit rainy. So in Fleetwood, it better be good weather. <laughs> Welcome to Blackpool, eh? and it is absolutely pissing it down. I can't get over how disgusting this weather is. It's not just fine rain, it is heavy, torrential, just steaming down. This is awful. And I'm still going to go to the sea front for the content. Yesterday, I put out a tweet asking what to expect when going to Fleetwood. So Ollie goes and puts, imagine the Maldives in Barbados, and imagine you're there, but it's the complete opposite. Um, I've never been to either, so I can't even compare, but it's... The weather says it all. I forgot it was the Eiffel Tower here. I'm ticking off all the monuments around here. I've been to Blackpool before, but uh, it's been a long time since I've seen it. I've seen it now. I'll tell you that now. I hope you're appreciating these clips because this is monstrous. Honestly, if you skip past this, I'll be disappointed. Look at this, what we got here. Showing you all the sights for me to get drenched. Got the Eiffel Tower in the background. I've got the North Pier here. Look at this, man. Look at, the, look at this. This is why this is the best football channel on YouTube. I'm telling you. The best sights. Normal football fans go to the pub. I'm in some arcade just so I can get away from the rain. I haven't been here for like seven, eight years when I was really young, so it's good to be here despite the weather. I also keep seeing constant fish and chip shops. So I don't think I'm going to have any problems finding fish and chips to eat later on. I've also been told my mate is actually parked underneath the tower somewhere. So at least I've got a lift to the stadium. The lift was a lifesaver and I could finally get undercover away from this horrendous weather. We have arrived in Fleetwood and there's only one thing I could possibly get. I've said I'll get some food. And here we are, I've been recommended a hybrid chippy. But unfortunately, we're still living in the early 2000s of Fleetwood. Who just takes cash nowadays, eh? I'm getting absolutely rinsed around here. I just want some fish and chips. It's charging £1.80 to just get some cash out. But luckily, we had a plan B. There we are, there's the, the fish, fish and, and chips. chips. The hybrid chippy is going to be happy now. Have the cash. I've travelled all this way for the football, but realistically, it's for the food, if you know me well. And honestly, it did not disappoint. Whoever told me to go to that fish and chip shop, by the way, you're an absolute legend. 9.5 out of 10, it's that good. 91 out of 92. Here we are, Fleetwood Town. As my mate works in the media, we strolled in to see if it was possible for me to have a pass as well. The Highbury Stadium is just behind these houses, but let's have a little bit of information about this game. Both teams haven't got anything to play for, but last time out it was a 2-2 draw with a last second equaliser, so I'm hoping for the same today. All the players was walking through. I was just standing there like a statue because I was just waiting to see if I can get a media pass or not. And fortunately, it's not the case. Wayne, who works at Fleetwood, spotted me walking into Jim's bar and offered to give me a tour around the stadium before anyone could have access. I'm literally walking around pitch side to see what the stadium looks like. Look at the design of this as well it looks really decent around there i like this little sort of stand you got this around here as well i think we'll be here behind the goal the memorial stand so that's hopefully where the atmosphere will be oh wow welcome to highbury this is the old stand and we look as well even the seats present seats and splintered benches oh wow i've already learnt loads and seeing the old stand was iconic now we're in the away end to see what the perspective would be as an away fan this has been sensational so far and the game hasn't even kicked off Your staff are absolutely unbelievable, so friendly, a local community. I really rate this a lot, and look at the access I've got here. Before anyone can even get into the stadium, by the way. 2-1 to Fleetwood. 2-1? 3-1 to Fleetwood. 3-1 to Fleetwood. 3-1 to Fleetwood. 2-1 Fleetwood. 2-0 Fleetwood. 2-0 Fleetwood. 2-1 Fleetwood. 2-1 Fleetwood. 2-1 Fleetwood. And that is the whole squad. The tour concluded in the guest lounge, and I can't thank Wayne enough for showing me around. I think it's going to be... 2-1 two, one. Two, one win. 2-0 to point. Rooney and Patterson. Rooney and uh, Rella. Jack, Murray and Jaden start with. What should I expect atmosphere-wise today? Because I see your drumsticks in the hand, mate. Robbie, who gave me a lift here, and uh, his channel is actually on the screen right now, so go and subscribe. It's not been that good this season. Certain it's games have been good. very, very good. Not much to play for. It's a bit of a dead rubber. It's been the ups and downs, put some good performances in. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. We beat Derby 2-0 at Pride Park, which is a great day out. Two, one, three, Another spicy thing about this fixture as well, Scott Brown is actually the Fleetwood manager of well, Celtic. Joey Barton, the manager of Bristol Rovers, and was the former manager of Fleetwood as well, Rangers. There's a bit of an old firm theme going on here. Picked off last time, we'll see if it happens again today. It's going to be a tough game, but like, two places. 
I want to say one one, but then I want to say one new Fleetwood. Two new Fleetwood. One new Fleetwood. Stop me. Two one Fleetwood. Marion's got point three one. Now. Here come the teams then, Fleetwood versus Bristol Rovers, Joey Barton versus Scott Brown, this is going to be interesting. There's a little Tifo going over here, didn't know it was better for Fleetwood Bristol Rovers but you got to respect it. My word, do you not think I was back in the road derby here? Yeah? Considering they've got nothing to play for the season, you got to respect the Bristol Rovers fans who have travelled. Not just behind the heart goal, but in the seats as well. Nothing's happened in the first 15 minutes. Oh, but Bristol Rovers have got an opportunity here from the free kick. A little pass, shoots. Yeah, I think it's absolutely scuffed it. You really missed on that one. I can't stress how poor this game has been so far. Nothing is happening. Really need a first goal here just to open a game up, but he can't even beat the first man. There we go. instant reply. Oh, it's poor again. Where have they got these two minutes from? I'm convinced they should just blow the whistle now and stop it. This could be a chance. Mark Reese, oh, that should be on target. And that should be a goal. And that is half time. Not much atmosphere, not much on the pitch, not many chances. Really one of the most boring ends of this season. Yeah, I think we played well to be fair. Awful atmosphere, to be honest. Not been great, has it? I reckon it'll be 1-1. Second half is about to start. There's a few substitutions for Bristol Rovers. As a neutral, that's all I want. Goals. One thing I will say is I love this stand on the left. The architecture on this one. It's just grabbing the town. Fair enough. Someone had to make the game interesting. I can't believe the game has come to take the goal to the side. Even the stewards get the towel back. I'll tell you what, could be two. Ooh, that, that goal must be gone. How's it not in? Oh my god, there it is. Yeah, I was gonna say. Tell you what, Bristol Rovers are celebrating, but this keeper is not gonna get his towel. After the start of the second half, Bristol Rovers have deserved it. Oh wait, he's actually got his towel back. He's got a towel back. Absolutely missed it. I was getting the scoreboard. And it is 2 1 to Bristol Rovers. They've turned it around. I can't even describe anything. Else. I don't know what went on. There was a ball in the box. Of the head. So I have absolutely no idea. Can we also mention earlier it was absolutely pissing it down and now we've got blue skies around. English weather never makes sense. Hello. Just, you just got a shoot. Oh shit! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, he saved me. He absolutely. <laughs> I have never shot myself so bad. Minute, four minutes added on. Second half's been a lot better than the first, and I'm thankful for that. That's a foul. What? That's not a foul, and I'm sure that any foul I'll take to go to anyone in this And that is full time. 
Bristol Rovers get the win and it was a really quick handshake between the managers. Bristol Rovers fans are fans, they've travelled in their numbers, nothing to play for, six, seven hundred of them, you got to give them respect, all of that way. I've never seen this side win C1, good day out for them and all the best and safe travels home. And even after the game, going around to the pitch. See, it's very fast around here but to the dugout we go, I don't know where I'm going if I'm honest. After the game, I followed my mate around the pitch and through to the dugout to see what happens after the final whistle. Here we've got the dressing rooms, visitor changing room, I guess home down here or something. Pizza's all round, but I wonder what team that was going to. Look at the dugout difference between the home and the away. It's even crazy enough to be this close to post-match interviews with Joey Barton after the game. The temptation. The temptation to nick the balls. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. And that has been me pitch side at Fleetwood Town. Let's have an overview of the day. A really class friendly club. Massive thanks to Wayne for showing me around. A true Fleetwood fan who is so proud of where he comes from. 91 out of 92. Just leads at Ellen Road to go.